Hey friends, so as you can see, I'm doing things a little different today. I am not in my office and that's because today I am doing an empowering project. This is an idea that I have had um, as the new year rolled around and it's something that I've wanted to do here um, in my community to show you that I'm putting my money where my mouth is. So um, over the past little while, I have felt this analogy kind of growing like a little seed and um, as I look around in my home, I see little places where um, some of the things that I'm not quite um, addressing are starting to fester. For example, I have this shame room in the basement of my house that had a purpose and it's not fulfilled its purpose because it's too overwhelming. It's become the storage room. I had plans for it to be a craft room and then maybe a laundry room and then Maybe uh, maybe my office one day, but I chose a different place in my home for that. But um, as the time has gone by, it's become the catch-all room. And it kind of is, <laughs> anytime someone goes down to my basement, I'm like, don't look at the shame room. So um, it's become this monster that is too big for me to address. And it causes me a lot of anxiety. And um, as I have worked with clients, I've realized that in our lives, we all have these big, insurmountable problems that are too big to address. And um, the advice that I give my clients and even my friends if they come to me for help is don't try to tackle the big shame monster in your basement. Start with something small, start with something manageable. So today I decided to do just that. I decided that instead of tackling my shame room, which I will do and I will probably document it for you all, I decided to do my little tiny linen closet that also um, has been the manifestation of all of these things I just keep avoiding because it's so easy because I could just close that door. So I opened the door and I'm gonna show you all my smaller, more maintainable, manageable, and tackleable, if that's a word, uh, little project that will help, um, help me be able to set the groundwork to tackle those bigger things later on. I'm really excited to show you. Um, and I mean, please try not to judge me. And it's okay if you do, because I judge myself a little bit for letting things get a little bit out of control. So um, I'm gonna show you um, that it didn't take a lot of effort. It did not take a lot of time. And it helped me feel like I can do hard things. So here we go. All right, here she is. Um, it's kind of a mishmash of a bunch of different things and I'm choosing not to be embarrassed and um you know because this makes sense there's some swimsuits of my girls and there's some you know because some block goes next to uh some of the funnest games ever made so I'm going to um enlist the help of my uh one of my best friends in the world her name is Robin and she is like an organizational guru and uh, I will show you the uh, products that we use and also just how um, you would organize a really small space. All right, I'll, uh, we're gonna get to work. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's perfect. <laughs> okay, so we found at TJ Maxx these cute little boxes and we're putting all of the like little broken chintzy pieces of things in boxes. I mean, look at this thing. This is well loved right here. That is, that says family togetherness if anything ever did. <laughs> so um, this is a really great idea. Then we're gonna make cute labels and uh, we'll show you that when we have it all made up. All right, we are almost done. We have everything cleared out and ready to put away. We are just assembling labels and we'll have the finished product coming up. All right, you guys, here is the reveal. I'm so excited to show you. Here we are. Now, I'm gonna show you the before one more time just so you can see the big difference. Okay, so now you have that in your mind. Come take a look. Okay. So up here we have the games I don't want kids touching and I have a footstool for me to get up in there because I'm kind of short. And then I took, I went to TJ Maxx and I picked out all of these little bins that I could put old games into and 
everything is just really neat and it makes me feel really good every time I look in this closet. So then we have more games and all of the things that have just been kind of scattered around my house. I put them all in one place and the same with my towels. So now this is a multifunctional closet. It's my game closet and my linen closet and it even had enough room for toiletries. So I am super happy with how this turned out. And it just really reminds me that I can do hard things and that this is something that, um, you know, don't take something too big on, start with something manageable. All right, friends, now you've seen behind my little shame curtain and my own little shame closet. And I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to do this project and be able to once again prove to myself that I am capable of doing hard things. I can do manageable things. So stay tuned because there's gonna be lots more empowering projects to come and I am excited to one day show you my giant shame closet in my basement. But until then, I'm gonna keep tackling those small manageable projects and as I do, I'll share them with you so that together we can empower each other to take action on the things that we have control over and on the things that we don't to just let them go. I'm so grateful for you in the community and I can't wait for the next video.